I had this metal box, this Pepto-Bismol pink I made because I didn't have my pink I wanted. So I didn't like that, so I put letter press gray over it, I think. Metal, without prepping or priming, you just clean it off and put it on. It works great. Or just open it up and put a flower in it. So many things you could do. Think outside the box. But I wanted you to see the process. So it's just a couple of chunky layers of my DIY paint. And this is Iron Orchid. It's called the Bohemian Stamp. They come in a 12 by 12 thing. And I like to cut them up because it kind of has a stiff called a mount on it. But you can freehand them like this. But when you go to rub your um, ink or your paint onto your image, it's a lot easier on that than rubbing your hand over rubber. So I just cut them up into parts like this. It's just one small part of a stamp. They're usually around, my stamps are like $29. They're very, very durable. I have so many different ones. You can go to mydecorizingyourlife.com and look through there. This is their ink pad. You can use any ink pad. This is the ink that is my brand, but I think any ink would work. So you just wanna make sure you shake it up you fill your stamp, and I actually store mine upside down so that all the ink stays at the top. Put a little dot of your color and label it because the black and the charcoal gray, which is what I'm using, looks a lot alike. My paint is clay. I put it on a plate and use a brayer, which I don't have one right here, or a high density foam roller and roll it in the plate, unload a little bit of the paint, and roll it on here. Both do great. This, the ink takes 24 hours to dry on most of the time. Sometimes if it's an unsealed clay surface, it'll dry faster. But most of the time count on the, the ink drying 24 hours. The clay will dry almost instantly. And then you gotta seal it. You don't have to seal the ink. The ink will grab the details of the stamp a little better, but for the most part, they're both scraped. Let's get going. Okay, so I'm gonna do, so I've done this and I did that and it worked great. Okay, so I got my stamp down here. A bit more, I've been going pretty heavy on this. I have a stamp that's called the Barnwood. Now that one I think is $37 instead of 29 because there's a lot of parts. I am telling you what, it looks for real. I've had a customer, a guy customer, it was awesome. Jeff Franks actually. And he came in, I gave him a super quick lesson because I was doing a workshop at that time, or going to be. He went home and did his whole dining room wall, and it looks dang good. And he used the clay paint. He used one little, I think one, one little jar, or maybe the medium-sized jar, and did his whole dining room with the barnwood stand. It looked like shiplap barnwood. It was so good. So then I've got it all loaded, and just kind of lining it up. Hold it with one side, and you just want to rub it. Not too hard, because it is rubber, so you can squish it down too far and mar your image. Then hold this side in place, take this, rub it. Do not leave your stamps in the hot sun. I did it and I had to throw some away. It ruined them. I was so sad. And this is one that kinda is kind of wonky now, but it was salvageable. Okay, and then you wanna pull it straight off. Look at that. It is so fun. You wanna think about top and bottom. So don't get so crazy that you forget. So I know which is my top and which is my bottom. Go ahead and do this side. And you kind of want to, you know, take your time a little bit and overlap the ink so there's not spaces. So hold it in place. Don't let it shift this way or that way or it'll, again, smudge your image. Look how good that is. It is so cute. You can do your walls. You can do fabric. Now fabric's a little less forgiving. Here I can kind of sand it off, repaint if I need to. You can't do that with fabric. These lay are so good with our transfers that are like, kind of like a sticker, but they look really high end and they're really good. They just meld into the image instead of putting a sticker or vinyl on it. Right here. This is just on, a, this is a transfer. That's what it looked like and these layer over this. All my socials are Decorizing Your Life and the links for the products used are in the description box. I like to use ink because it's a little bit faster than rolling your paint and 
unloading your paint than rolling the roller. I don't know. I just I just think this is easier sometimes. But for different things, I do different reasons. distress that back you know make it like stress it with the um, my clay paint you can use a wet wash rag um, the ink you have to you'd use a fine grit sandpaper so from this to that to that <laughs> 